Welcome to Facing the Crowd. It is the show that celebrates your out-of-the-box entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Liesl Wilson, and today we find ourselves in the heart of a township, Cajiso. We're at an accounting firm, TWMBS Accountants. It's run and owned by Tsepo Mosiedi. My name is Tsebo Musiedi. I'm the managing director and founder of TWMBS Accountants. We offer accounting, auditing, taxation and secretarial services. Welcome to Face in the Crowd. We are chatting to Tsebo Musiedi. He is the director of TWMBS Accountants. Tsebo, thank you for making time to chat with us today and welcome to Face in the Crowd. Thank you, ma'am, for having me. TWMBS, where did it all begin for you? Um, TWMBS Accountants uh, started in 2013, yeah. uh, but we only registered in 2016. So basically in 2013, I was doing um, business on the side, like uh, bookkeeping part-time on the side yeah. for clients. So now whilst I was doing bookkeeping, um, I can say I was in demand because most small businesses that wanted me to assist them with um, bookkeeping in the township. Mm -hmm. So now I, I, I told myself that as soon as I graduate from um, the University of Johannesburg, I opened my accounting firm. So you know when you tell people, they don't really take it serious. So 2014 I finished, and then 2015 I worked whilst doing business bookkeeping on the side. And then um, in 2015 August, I resigned where I was working, and then I applied um, with the South African Institute of Tax Practitioners. They granted me the practice number, and unfortunately my, 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 my landlord then was a chartered accountant and he was around, he's around 29, then he was 28. I, I spoke to him to say, look, I have a, a vision of opening an accounting firm. So you, have, you are a chartered accountant, I'm a tax practitioner, can we please team up and open our accounting firm? Mm -hmm. He agreed and then 2016 we registered TWMBS accountants. How would you describe the journey this far? The journey has been very challenging mm -hmm. and very nice at the same time because um, I can say we managed to employ people under TWMBS accountants. We're helping township businesses to be compliant yeah. and also we're giving other university students opportunities to come and join us who are doing accounting, to come and join us, learn the industry before they graduate because I was fortunate enough that I was doing bookkeeping before I graduated. Yeah. That's why I managed to open my accounting firm. As a tax practitioner in Igasi, I mean, why that yeah. move? <laughs> I, I, I really saw the opportunity. I saw that there's a demand for professional accounting services in the township. Usually people, when they open such, obviously as they start in town, we have, we, we have an office in Krugersdorp. Mm -hmm. We just opened this one in February. So the, 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 the thinking behind it is that 90% of our clients are in the township. Yeah. So it, it, it makes sense for us to have at uh, an office at their doorstep. So we decided, you know what, as much as you have Krugersdorp, whoever wants to go to Krugersdorp, they can go. Whoever wants to come to Kahiso, they can come. So we're trying to say township, um, um, township economy is now growing and we'd like to be a part of it. How supportive have people been of your business um, in terms of clients that have come on board? I mean, who are some of those um, clients that have come on board and what's that relationship been like for you um, in this um, sector? Uh, people, they've been very supportive, eh? especially yeah. people from my township, which is um, Kahiso. Yes. Um, they've been very, very supportive because I think it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Um, I, um, some of the people that we have, I don't know if you came, when you're coming to the office, there's a pick and pay that they just opened here in Kahiso. Mm -hmm. He's one of our clients. We have like um, clients in the construction industry. We have clients also in the retail and the beauty sector. 
Mm. Yes, ma'am. And then in terms of the credibility that surrounds tax practitioners, yes. um, as well as accountants in South Africa, I mean, there are some question marks that tend to tarnish some of the <laughs> firms. Yeah. How do you maintain that credibility and just assure your clients that you come with not only the services, but the integral part of operating your business? I think um, how we maintain it is that we adhere to the principles of being an accountant, which is your integrity, professionalism, confidentiality. So once you have those in place, I think um, it's easy for our clients to come on board and to trust you with, with their companies. So mm. I, I, we always put integrity first. And then also other companies, they can see that these guys, we don't do shortcuts. So, for example, if you want us to submit your nail returns, we need you to do an affidavit to say, I confirm that my company didn't make an income so that it's part of integrity we don't just yeah we don't just do it for money but we do yeah. it so that we can be able to adhere to the business principles of mm -hmm. the accounting sector and in, and maintaining that integral part gains trust and people will obviously keep coming back that's correct there are many people who play in this space though i wonder what do you think is the secret to your success what <laughs> sets you apart that um it allows you to thrive in the space that you are i think for me i have an entrepreneurial spirit so okay. even before I started TWMPS Accountants, yeah. um, I started business when I was 16. So I was still in high school. I was doing dustbin cleaning for um, the community of Kahiso. So on Wednesday, I would do like 20 dustbins. And then uh, I used to charge 10 rand per dustbin. So mm -hmm. that's where it all began. So for me, it's, 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 it's the fact that I, ha I have an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. So I'm, a lot of accountants, they treat pra their practices as just work. For me, I treat it as a business. I wonder also, having worked in corporate though, there is a certain culture that one has to adhere to. There are rules that you learn that do help refine you. With your stint in corporate culture, what would you say um, has helped to uh, refine you as a businessman as you continue to be an entrepreneur but also have a successful practice? I think for me, um, the corporate sector, I was fortunate enough that I joined a company that was making um, a huge amount of um, of turnover. They were yes. making around 80 million by then, mm -hmm. but still, it was um, the the team was small. So when I joined the company, I was doing everything. Uh -huh. So they made me do admin. They made me do bookkeeping. I was also assisting in fleet and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 how it, it it made me look on the brighter side. It made it, it showed me that I can do more not to restrict myself on one as a bookkeeper. And then what it also taught me is how to deal with people, how to talk to clients, how to manage your business. Yeah. Your, your, your business. So I think that's how it played uh, a mm. major role, yes. But. You don't run this alone, obviously. Um, yes. There are people who are <laughs> your support system and yeah. help you to maintain the successful um, institute. We spoke to a few of them, and okay. um, this is what they had to say about working with you. Hi, I'm Debo Hosilevi, Project Manager at TWMPS Accountants. Hi, my name is Tolfa Lodue, I'm the Office Manager here at TWMPS. I joined TWMPS shortly just after my birthday, um, in the month of July, early July, but it was also just after my aunt passed, so that's how I actually got to meet Seb when we started, you know, speaking, getting along, um, and to only find out that we we within the same stream, um, which, is, which is accounting. I joined the TWMPS uh, this year in July, 1st of July. Yes, I was first working with Tepo there at Kruger's Dog. We started working together and then I went somewhere uh, and then I furthered my studies. And then Tepo called me the other day and said to me, hey, Tuda, um, I'm, 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 I'm doing something, I'm growing my company, so I would like you to be my team because I know that you are a hard worker. Yeah, obviously working at TWMBS Accountants is very exciting for me, especially I'm um, still very young, so I have a lot to learn. Um, I want in terms of experience, you, you get to experience a lot because like for me especially because I'm doing sales, I'm doing project managing, I'm doing marketing, um, social media as well. So I'm, I'm very, very exposed to things that I didn't know that I, I can do. Um, so I love it for that part that it's, 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 it's showing me my limits and my limitations. It's just like I can still go further and I can still do so much more with what I didn't even know that I can use, you know. Working for TWMBS is so nice. 
I enjoy working here. I don't even struggle when I when I wake up. I just want to go there because Sopo and he inspires me. Yeah, Sopo is somebody that inspires me a lot. You know, some people when they go to work, ah, it's Monday, I have to go to work, but not with me. I just wake up, I'm going to, to work. If I could describe Sopo as a person, obviously, very assertive, very, very assertive. I like that because we share that character trait together. Um, he's a very humble person, works really hard, works really hard. Um, and obviously, I don't know if I should say this, my kid can be that guy, you know, meaning that he, 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 he's the balance to where I would say I like. Sopo is so humble, he's so helpful. He's, he's a mentor, he's, he inspires young people, young entrepreneurs, and he inspires me. He's a very nice somebody. Well, Tepo is a boss. That's, that's, that's the thing. He hates that word, actually. <laughs> he doesn't like being called a boss, but um, for, for me, um, and I feel like even for the rest of the team, we, we get to have, it's not, it's not a comfortability thing, but it's, it's a very, you at home. You know, you don't, you don't feel like Tepo's your boss. As much as you know that, okay, this is my boss, but he doesn't make you feel like you're subordinate. We all colleagues, we all equal. According to him, we can go out, grab meets all together. You know, there's no, I'm in the building, guys, stuff needs to change, move this, move that, move this, you understand? As much as please do understand, there is some sort of serious, and there is obviously rules that we have to follow and things that have to be implemented. But I'd say the best part about having to work with him and him being obviously a senior to us in the in the organization is that you don't really feel that impact or that pressure that you'd feel working somewhere else to say, okay, here I feel like nothing, I feel like no one because he's the boss and I cause the shots and you know. So to, to some extent, you feel like you guys are all equal as much as you still have that sense of respect to say, okay, he's, uh, he's, he's above, he's above, yes, he's the director. Sapi is a hard worker. Sapi is a hard worker. I, I, I've learned so much from Tepo and he's not lazy. I used to be a bit lazy, but you know, ever since I met Tepo, ah, <laughs> I took that laziness and shoved it under the bed. What I can say I learned from Tepo being at TWMPS Accountants is that, uh, like I already mentioned, the fact that he exposed me to so much things that I didn't know I could do. Um, so obviously for me as a person, I've grown um, within that space that I didn't know uh, existed for me in particular. And obviously, I feel like also one thing that I'd say I learned a lot from him is to work and to work hard. I wish for him to grow, grow so much and I wish for this company to grow as well. And nationwide, international wise. What I wish for, for Tepo and TWMBS accountants is that we stay together. <laughs> you know, we grow together. Um, but on the real though, on the real notes, um, I feel like there's certain things that obviously we've spoken about and things that I do know that are still coming up. I just hope and pray that those moves do happen and they do um, come to light as, as, as we hope and plan they would. Um, unfortunately, I can't mention them because they're still in the process. Um, yeah, and I just, I just hope that he just you know, keeps his head high and just keeps on working and keeps on growing. It's time for a break. When we come back, we get to know Tsepo a little more. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.